All right, guys, we're going to do a uh, full system swap on the unit. Uh, we've got a uh, mismatched coil furnace combo. Uh, we've got the American Standard single stage, 80% uh, or it's all common width, uh, 17 and a half, 40 inches tall. Uh, coil matches its 2.5 ton B width, and then we've got good spacing on the plenum. Uh, we'll just need to redo the plenum once we get the new coil in place. Uh, furnace is a four, or excuse me, uh, flue is four inch, um, four inch from the water heater. It's tied into a five inch T. We'll just need to swap all that out. Uh, breaker sitting right behind the unit for the AC. It's a double full 30, which I believe that can stay. If I'm remembering correctly, I think both a 20, or excuse me, both a two and two and a half ton, they're double 30s, but just follow the checklist on that. Um, return drops a little bit undersized. Uh, we've got a seven and a half, seven and a quarter by 23. We'll need to do at least least an 8x26, maybe even a 10x26. I'll do the, the calc on that. And again, just follow the checklist. Overall height is uh, about 85 inches. Uh, we've got four inches between the return and the furnace. We've got about eight over here to play with on the left-hand side. So we'll just need to bump that over a couple inches to get the uh, 1210 box in there. Um, gas shut off here on the left. We'll need to replace that. Service disconnects and wiring, swap that out, drop that new uh, to the side of the furnace. And then there's an old powered humidifier Honeywell unit on the side, uh, which I have not actually seen where that water shut off is at. Uh, I'm guessing it's here somewhere. It's right up here. Is it up top there? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, we're not dealing with the piercing valve, so. Excellent. Um, other than that, it's all pretty straightforward. I'll get a video of the outside unit, and uh, we'll be good to go.